Hello, welcome to Abidi's Kitchen. Today I'll be showing you how to make these delicious cross buns. For this recipe, you'll need all purpose flour, spices, I have here ground clove, ground cinnamon, and ground or grated nutmeg, sugar, raisins and cherries, butter, mixed essence or vanilla extract, and milk. I'm using here evaporated milk. You could use any type of milk that you want to use. I'm using the evaporated milk because it is giving a nice rich taste to the buns. You will also need yeast of course because it is a bread. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is working on my wet ingredients and that includes my butter and I'm going to add this in. Now I've warmed this milk up to about 30 seconds and this is going to help to melt the butter. You don't want to hot this too much or it's going to kill the yeast. Warm, lukewarm is good enough. I'm adding in there one teaspoon of mixed essence and into there I'm going to add in my yeast and I'm going to mix this and you want to try to get out the clumps. So right now that this has been mixed I'm just going to put it aside and that's going to give it a little bit of rest and it's going to activate. And now I want to work on the dry ingredients. I have in here all-purpose flour and into that I'm going to add my clove, my cinnamon, my nutmeg and alternately you can use allspice. If you have ground allspice is an excellent substitute for this. I'm also going to add my sugar, raisins and cherries and you can use as little or as much raisins and cherries as you like. I'm going to go in there with my hands and give everything a good mix. Now I have to say I am very proud of this recipe. It is one that I've tested and perfected over the years of baking. And I remember baking this with my grandmother when I was about, uh, I'd say, 12 or 13. And we didn't have a recipe to go by. We just went by taste, smell, and feel. And it came out to be one of the best cross buns that I've had. So I've tried to keep that recipe just as is there. Everything has been incorporated and mixed in there nicely. I'm going to go in there with my wet ingredients and I'm going to pour all of it and I'm going to mix it around. And you're going to mix and bring this dough together. It will be sticky but keep mixing it. Do not add any flour. You don't need any additional flour. This is going to come together nicely in the end, I promise you. Now this is very sticky and very hard to knead. It is making, it is giving me a workout. But you're going to continue kneading even though it's sticky like this. Now it's time to build some muscles. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this out onto my mat. You're going to need for five minutes until this dough is smooth and elastic. We're going to start developing the gluten in there. And you may be tempted to add flour, but don't. Stick to this and you're going to get some delicious cross buns. All right. Assume if you have a KitchenAid mixer, that is going to work extremely well for this. Now I've been kneading this dough for the past five minutes. I didn't add no flour, no additional flour, no oil or anything like that. Just the kneading and moving it around has developed the gluten in the flour and it's starting to get smooth. Here you can see this has come together nicely into a nice semi smooth ball. It is not as rough as before. And I'm, uh, I'm breadless. I'm out of bread right now. But this is old school baking. And I'm just going to lightly grease or oil my pot here. And I'm doing this in a pot for the reason that it makes it easier for it to rise. I'm going to place my dough in there. And I'm going to place the lid over it. And put it in a nice warm place to rise for one to one hour and a half. All right, so it's been an hour and about 15 minutes. I had my cross buns resting and it's risen really nicely. It's doubled, almost tripled in size and we're ready to portion these out. 
So I have a bowl with flour and I'm going to very lightly dust my hand and cough or punch it down. I'm going to remove it, put it out onto my pastry mat and gently, gently roll this. I want to start to form this into a log so that way I can be able to divide it. Now I also have a greased baking sheet and this is about a 12 by 10 and you want to have something with high sides so that the buns could rise. Now I'm going to take my pastry cutter and I'm going to divide this into 12. You're going to be making one dozen cross buns. And you want to make these the same size or equal so your measuring eyeballs will be needed. So here I've divvied up everything. Again, lightly, lightly dust my hands with flour and I'm going to roll it around and try to smooth it. You want to get it as smooth as possible. Now, if you put a lot of raisins and cherries like I am doing right now, that may not be possible, but try to get it as smooth and as tightly rolled as possible. There. And you're going to place these in the baking dish. Here, another one. And just make your hand into a basket, put the dough down and just roll it around. It's going to become smooth. Almost to the end. And I haven't added any more flour onto my hands. Onto my last one. And now these are ready for the second rise. And this is a much shorter rise. So 30 minutes, these will be ready to bake. So I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap. And you want to seal this, make sure that it is tightly wrapped so that no air can get in there. And this is going to give the yeast a second opportunity to rise in preparation for the baking. So I'm going to put this in a warm spot again. So it's been 30 minutes and the cross buns had its second rising and it has, you know, filled out the pan very nicely. And my oven is on. It's coming up to heat, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now these would not be cross buns without the cross. Now traditionally, the old school way is when you're putting these buns into the second proofing, you take the scissors and you just clip an X onto the bun and you know, you will have a cross. But I find that sometimes it splits the bun and it doesn't come out with a smooth top. So old school, old fashioned way, I have in here a little bit of plain flour and I've mixed it to a semi soft consistency, somewhat like icing. I'm just gonna, and this is a Ziploc bag, I'm just gonna clip the top and I'm only gonna do three of these at the end here. I'm just going to pipe with the raw flour. Traditionally, Guyanese cross buns is made like this is optional. You don't have to do this. We usually don't use icing, but the flour instead. Now, one final step before these are ready to be popped into the oven. And I have here a little bit of plain milk. And I'm just going to lightly brush the top of the cross buns. This helps to give it a nice golden. And this step is optional. You don't have to do this. Okay, into the oven for 25 to 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so our cross buns is out of the oven and I have in here a simple syrup with brown sugar and water and a little bit of lime juice. And I'm simply just going to take a brush and brush the top of the cross buns. Now this is my way of adding a little bit of sweet and stickiness to the top. I don't do it with the icing because my husband doesn't like too much of the sweet, the spice and the raisins and the cherries and everything is going to add to the taste of this. And these three are the ones that we put the flower cross on it and this came out very beautiful and the cross buns is ready. They've risen really nicely here. This is about three to four inches thick. Now the sugar glaze that I put on there, the sugar syrup glaze, sorry, is going to make this become nice and sticky. 
Now this is very hot. You're going to allow this to cool before you remove it from the pan. And or if you're going to do the icing cross, here I have um, some ready-made store-bought icing. And you can just take that and pipe it over. And this is hot, but just for the video, I'm trying to do this. And this doesn't have to be perfection. And I'm going to try to get this one here to show you. I want to show you how... <laughs> Look at that. Look at this. I want to show you how soft and spongy and baked and delicious and hot ouch that is and I'm gonna try to show you how we do it in Guyana the hot cross buns with a slice of cheddar cheese in there and that's gonna melt and that's gonna be one delicious bite now do try this recipe all of the measurements and ingredients will be listed in the description box below give it a thumbs up share subscribe and thank you for spending time with us today in abidi's kitchen bye bye enjoy happy easter the cameraman is getting excited and he's not focused he's losing focus right now